Welcome back, everyone. Starting next week, more than a dozen restaurants and bars are coming together for the annual Dine Drink Detroit event. And if you buy a ticket, you'll not only get to enjoy some great food that I can smell right now, but you'll also be helping the Detroit Riverfront Conservancy as well. And joining us uh, to talk about the event is its co-founder, Scott Rutterbush. Thank you so much for joining us. And executive uh, chef for our Johnny Noodle King, Les Molnar. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Now, now, Scott, what inspired you to start this event? We started uh, last year. Uh, myself and uh, Kate Williams uh, decided that there's a lot of synergy happening in Detroit, especially around the food and drink culture. It's really emerging. Uh, a lot of new places, a lot of exciting places that are opening uh, in the last year and the year to come. And there's also some established places like Traffic Jam is in. They've been around for 35 yeah. years in Midtown. And we just thought, wow, there's so much synergy, energy, excitement around food and culture. Let's bring that together. Join. We have 15 places this year that said let's uh, all do a special for $15, get a drink, get a food item, come in, no reservations, and uh, enjoy what's, uh, what's happening in the city. That sounds like a great deal. And what kind of restaurants are we talking about here? We have uh, La Feria, which is in Midtown, new place that opened this past year. Obviously, Giant Newell King just opened a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Green Dot Stables, Slow's Barbecue, Great Lakes Coffee, uh, Two James, uh, Detroit City Distillery. Wow, and what are you doing here? This smells incredible. We're making, uh, we're making ramen. This is our show you ramen. It's uh, part of our Dine Drink Detroit menu. You'll get a uh, shoyu ramen bowl and a uh, Hintachino Nest beer for $15. Now, why did you guys decide to take part in, in this event? Uh, well, we, like Scott said, there's a lot of synergy happening in Detroit, and there's a lot of great uh, chefs and, and cooks that are really doing some good work. And, uh, you know, we'd like to uh, kind of promote the people that are on the lower price point of things and not... Um, have to go out and spend a hundred dollars at a meal and, and kind of expose the other side of what Detroit's doing uh, exceptionally well. That sounds so great and I gotta say this smells incredible and very different from the ramen noodles that oh, yeah. <laughs> most of us yeah. are used to, right? So Absolutely. what are you doing here? What all goes into this? So here we have our shoyu ramen. It's our tonkatsu broth with uh, soy sauce flavoring and then here we have our sun noodles that we've uh, blanched in hot water. In go the noodles and then you have your toppings up front as well. Wow. Yep, get that off of so I'm going to tilt this just yeah. so uh, so folks can, can <laughs> get see. Get a really nice shot of this. And what else did you bring with you? Also on the menu we have some onigiri. And that was just me being a knucklehead. Which is just uh, some rice balls um, with uh, nori wrapped around them, some uh, duck egg yolk and Japanese mayo on top. Um, also in the bowl is some pork belly, which everyone knows and loves. Uh, so we'll just uh, pop that in there. And, no, never. And there are different options. You have pork belly here, but we also see some oh, fish yeah. over here as well. So you'd be able to sort of customize what you would want in this? Absolutely. Um, well, not, not customize. We, right. uh, there are we, options. Yes, we've got some uh, set bowls that everyone kind of uh, go for. The mackerel is really special, if I can just show you this real quick. Um, you want to grab the lemon? Oh, all right. Go for oh, it. There we go. So this is honors. something that we do uh, <laughs> table, side, table side at Johnny's. Uh, we like to just... Take sushi grade mackerel and we torch it table side. So you get some nice crispy skin. You know, Greek town look out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So when I'm done with this, just squeeze the lemon on there. There you go. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, and then you, you just. A show too, yeah, right? Absolutely. Dinner so and a show. How much are tickets? Uh, $15. So fifteen dollars gets you a drink and a food item in each of the fifteen restaurants. And again, all for the Detroit Riverfront River Conservancy. Yes. Yeah, we want to pick a, a foundation that we thought was uh, everyone can really participate in and enjoy. And it's open to the public. It's open to anybody. You live in the city. If you just visit the city, it's a place where everybody uh, really gathers and uh, enjoys the one of the gems that the city offers. Yeah, it really. Is, it's really such a heart of Detroit. Mm -hmm. And you can pick up tickets. Fifteen dollars. You go to DineDrinkDetroit.com to pick up those tickets. Uh, you can go and just walk into any of the restaurants. No tickets needed? No just tickets needed. You walk in, uh, so there's no reservations. You just walk in and say, I'm here for Dine Drink Detroit. Uh, they'll offer you the menu, and at that point, it's a $15 price point. So just make it really simple and easy. Go to the website to figure out which restaurant to participate yeah. in. Right. There's a map on there with all 15 restaurants. We'll also tell you uh, a little bit about what we're doing, tell a little bit about the riverfront. Uh, we're also doing a launch uh, party on, on Monday the 29th, which is this coming Monday. Uh, at the uh, uh, DNR building, which okay. is the old Glow building, and there'll be a party there to kick off the event. Scott, Les, thank you so much. We'll be back with more 7 Action News right after the break.